can make the world a better place to get this cause going all across the Eastern world. This video for this cause is about uh, how I heard um, North Dakota has had um, a problem when it comes to suicide in, in the state. And I know this country even has had a problem with it. You know, it's said, it's, it's um, been known out there that people that um, help people are people who have overcome problems and people who have had experience with problems, um, whether it be like um, experience in general, like it could be a like college or job or life experience. Well, I myself, through life experience, have struggled with depression and suicide. Um, the first time I can remember struggling with um, suicide, depression maybe before then, um, is in 2007. Last time I remember trying to commit suicide was in 2016. Actually went to jail for that because I went in front of a car trying to kill myself. I just felt so guilty for not being this perfect Christian, not being this perfect person. There's no such thing as a perfect Christian. There's no such thing as a perfect person. However, many times in my life I, I wish I was perfect. It doesn't mean I've done really bad things. It just means that I'm a sinner. We're, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. The glory of God, and you know, I just want to be the most loving, best person I can be. To do the right thing is something I've always strived to do, even when I've messed up at times. Guilt, guilt, guilt. It can really, really have an effect on you. Conviction, I don't believe, is supposed to get you to feel guilty, but it's, but it's supposed to touch your heart in such a way that you change and become a more positive, loving, good person. Guilt, though, can do so many things, just like sin. I believe guilt is, is similar to sin, or is even sin, um, which is why it can lead to um, uh, committing suicide, and then um, and why where um, suicide and sin comes into play of Suicide being a sin. Um, I believe God saved my life that day. Between uh, not getting killed and going to jail for what I did. Um, I went to jail for what I did because I went in front of a car doing it. I've been given many chances over the years where I tried to commit suicide more than once going in front of a car. I was told one time a while back, back in 2000 and... Um, nine about how you can actually go to jail for trying to go in front of a car to kill yourself it's not that i you know i wouldn't want to see anything happen to another person because the car gets in an accident or, or the fact that you know um the car kills you and and that's like a risk for the other car you know doing something like that um even if the person never gets hurt because you know it could not do any damage to the car or the person but just you know kills kills um, yourself, any, the individual, you know, the only in intention is to kill, you know, was, was in, in the past to kill myself. Obviously, it was not okay. It wasn't good. You know, I, it was a horrible experience going to jail, trying to kill myself because almost the whole time, almost the whole time, I was just, I was feeling miserable. However, feel like God had it happen for a reason. I, I read the Bible in there and I believe that God helped me to come up with the right name for this cause, for this for starting a Christian ministry um, while there. Um, I even had someone there tell me, don't give up on these videos, keep making those videos when I was in there. Anyways, though, uh, one story short in this video is, you know how important it is to help people that have gone through suicide and help people overcome um Suicide, depression, or depression and suicide. And going through those experiences helped me to be able to know what it's like. And, and obviously, any experience that's bad or sinful, it would be better to not go through it. However, God can allow different experience, uh, experience to happen or experiences to happen um, 
where uh, good things come from, right? Like helping people who are suicidal, help people who are, who, um, who are going through depression. Um, besides just help people in general. Um, besides just, you know, becoming a better person through the experience, even when it would be better not to have it happen. Um, and I wish I was never suicidal. I wish I was, like I said, I wish I was perfect. Um, I wish I'd never sinned. I wish I was never bad at, at all in my life. I, I wish I was the most loving, perfect, perfect loving person. However, we'll never be perfect loving people. We'll never be perfect Christians. That doesn't exist. People get this impression like, oh, those Christians are judgmental. Oh, those Christians are religious. Oh, those Christians, you know, they think that they're, they're so good, but they're not, you know. Um, you know, it's just a lot of different things for people who look down on Christians. And the reality is, is the important thing is for us to be humble. Whether you're Christian or not, to be humble. To admit you're wrong. Admit your, your sins. Admit your problems. And to strive to be the best we can be. And to keep trying to be better with God and Jesus' help. Or, or with, with, if you're not a Christian, to keep trying to be, trying to be better with people's help. With, with, your, with, um, with um, starving to be loving. With uh, not, you know, just not giving up. Believe in others. Believe in yourself. Loving others can help you. Loving yourself can help you. Helping others helps yourself. We keep trying to do what you can to uh, live the best life you can. So how important is to help people who are suicidal and go through depression, whether it be in North Dakota or the world, or world in general? And I believe that's going to be one of the many different ways to I'm going to go out and help people. Be part of an amazing cause. Make the world a better place.